Hey, what's up? It's Z here from S&P Gym down in Stockport. Now, the video you're about to watch is of S&P client Mark. Now, before Mark joined S&P, he was really struggling with his lack of fitness. He used to be in great shape, but he felt like over the last few years, he just kind of lost his way. And he was really winging it in terms of his nutrition and his training. He knew that he desperately wanted to get back to that physique and that, that fitness and confidence that he used to have, but he wasn't sure how to get there. So I want to introduce you to Mark today. And what I want you to do right now is go check out the video and enjoy. Please, can you tell me your name, age and occupation? My name is Mark. Uh, I'm 46. I have to remember because I'm going to be 47 pretty soon. And I'm a designer, a menswear apparel designer. Right, cool. Um, and tell me a little bit about your background sports-wise, please. Uh, well, since I was 16, I've been doing karate. So I started mm. it quite late as a sport, really, but uh, I really loved it. And the clubs that I trained at were around when I was at university. The same, I kind of was lucky enough to be able to continue. Um, and I've done it all my life, really, since then. And I've competed in England karate teams right. and competed around the world. So it's my favourite sport, really. Cool. So tell me a little bit about what encouraged you to join S&P then, with a background like that. Yeah, well, I've been... I've been working very hard and so I sort of neglected my fitness quite a lot and I hadn't had the time to train as much as I'd like to so okay. I'd really let it go over, over a couple of years and felt like it was really time to get back into something and I think I'd seen the advert on on, uh, on the internet mm -hmm. and it just got me interested and so I wanted to get get fit again. Just get fit again because yes. so you've lo lost your way a little bit. Definitely, I mean yeah. it, it, would, uh, it had been something that you know I always wanted to do, get really fit because I knew it would help my, my competition because I'm still fighting these days in the vets, veterans cool. section. So, you know, I needed to be fit. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> yeah. need to be fit. So tell me um, about your nutrition before you came as well. We, as you came from a background of sport, mm. were you quite au okay with what you should be eating? It was okay. I mean, as an amateur sport, we wouldn't, didn't have all the kind of focus that my professionals get. So, you know, I was kind of, I was winging it a little bit and doing what mm. I thought was okay. Um, well, things have changed over the last few months, that's for sure. Mm. Um, but, the sort of month or so before it actually started coming to the gym, yeah. I tried to really cut back on certain things. You know, like sugars was a big thing that obviously is very, it's in the media at the moment, but it just made a massive difference to me. So that was a good starting point. Right. And it kind of hooked me in to get to the next stage, which obviously I've done since I've been here. Cool. So before you came to S&P, what were your fears about the, or preconceived ideas about the gym? Just tell me. I don't have any preconceived fears. I think be, I'm not that kind of person that has too many fears about things. I'll just, you know, I'll only do something I want to do as well. So it looked like it was a great, mm -hmm. a great place I'd fit in. So I wanted to come and try it really. Okay. So you weren't, yeah, yeah <laughs> just, just, just wanted to walk straight in and no fears about anything. You yeah. wanted to crack on. Yeah, really. I mean, I, I've, you know, I've done, I've done lots of different sports and been in situations in my life where you just have to go in and get on with it. So you just kind of, you know, I'll yeah. take, if I didn't like it, wouldn't come back, but there's no, there's no fear about trying it once. Right. Okay, cool. Um, so just tell me the biggest struggles you had before S&P, so things that you think you've definitely changed since you've joined? Sure, um, consistency is a, is a big one, right. sticking, sticking with it, which is, which is a bonus to, to what they, these guys do because it keeps, me, it keeps me interested and even though I was absolutely exhausted after the first few sessions, well I still have most time now, you know, there are people tell you that I look like, you know, I'm struggling but because um, I put a lot into it but it really keeps me coming back so mm -hmm. it's, the consistency was something that I struggled with before and also I think just yeah, keeping the interest really. Mm -hmm. Have something that, you know, when the karate has always been something that I've loved, and that's always kept me going back because it's always interesting, always learning. Yeah. Obviously, you go to a gym on your own, just a normal one. It's just a bit like you're on your, you know, it's too easy just to stop. So. Right. Okay. That's kind of why. Right. Cool. And when you first started S and P, you were on the fit program. I was yes. I believe you're now on the strong program. I have moved across the strong. Yeah. Yes, so yeah. tell me what motivated you to change over and, and move on to a different program. Sure. Well, I felt after about three months, I'd really cracked on and, met, and I'd shifted some weight, and I felt a lot stronger anyway mm -hmm. compared to, to when I'd first started. And I just looked like the guys and they were having having a lot of fun as well. So I wanted to mix up a little bit. Yeah. I would still want to do some more fit. I mean, I think I can do one a week, but at the moment, yeah. I'm really struggling to do the extra session because I'm so tired. I'm you know working on building up on all levels, but uh, the strong has been great fun as well mm -hmm. since I've moved across. So just sort of explain yes. the camaraderie of the strong <laughs> program, what's that like? Um, well, it's just a great support network really. Mm -hmm. People encourage you to, you know, to, uh, to push on, do one more, finish your reps, you know, don't, don't give up. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of patting on the back, some well done and, you know, come on. And that's from the other members and, and the coaches. Cool, thank yeah. you. Tell me about your results since joining S&P. 
Sure, like every time I, I seem to be away and miss the fit test, which is a bit frustrating. It's so a shame, I've isn't it? I've missed two of the last two, and I'm just like, Jay, what are you doing? You always pull them out on the days that I'm not here. So I'd like to let to get really gauge it, but I can tell just from uh, how I feel and uh, definitely the, the weight loss and the change in my body shape has, yeah. has, been, has been a hell of a lot, and the strength I've got and the fitness levels has increased like, to, uh, you know, a lot. But tell me about PBs then, with regards to weights. Uh, PBs, well, I've only just started on that, so we haven't yeah. done. I haven't done any PBs yet. I mean, I'm, I'm increasing every time the program changes, or mm -hmm. you know, we do an extra week. I had the, sorry through the week, I'll add some more weights on. So I always feel like I'm I'm going in the right direction, but yeah. I haven't done any proper PBs. Ah, because you've been two the, months into it. Yeah, aren't so you? I haven't done that big thing. So I'm looking Ooh. forward to doing that the next time and yeah. really, uh, really giving it a shot. Because yeah. I see some of the other guys think, yeah, I'm, you know, I can lift that, I can lift that. And it's funny how, um, as well, you see different areas like. Certain exercises I feel really good at, and then other ones, other ones I think I should be good at, and I see other guys think, well, how come they're so good at that one? I'm not, you know. So it's just like a, it's a balance of getting it all right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, and tell me now what S and P means to you. S and P means there's a, it's, it means quite a few things. Um, firstly, I would actually say family. I, I think I spoke to the to the owners when I started, Sean and Z, about how it felt like it was a, a dojo, which is the karate school. It's you know such a good family atmosphere. People are so supportive. So it means that I enjoy coming here every time. Mm -hmm. You always look forward, you, you, you know, you're meeting people and you have, you know, good chats and then you work so, so hard and they push you so hard. Mm -hmm. Obviously you only get out what you put in, but I don't see many people here that don't put a hell of a lot into it, so, you know. Cool. And how have we helped you? Oh, have you helped me? Um, well, all the things I said before, I think previously, it's just you helped me get some... <clears throat> Some consistency back in my workouts and encouragement to, to sort of lift me up to get, you know, to, to be in a position where I really want to be so I can compete mm -hmm. at a much higher level now. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and it doesn't, you know, I don't want to stop, I want to keep going. I've still got a long way to go. I feel I can still push on a hell of a lot more. So I'm only kind of a part way through my journey. And a gym like this will just make me want to keep coming back. There's no, there's no way I'm giving up till I get to, to where I want to be. Right, <laughs> cool. And why do you think SP is so different to anywhere else? Gym in a, in the gym world. Sure, um, I think because they do they care about about each person. It feels like that, and, it, uh, and the members care about each other and themselves and the whole place. It's mm -hmm. a real kind of this community vibe, a solid team of people, um, and it makes you just want to keep coming back and and try and improve and, and please them, please yourself. You know. Cool. Yeah. And finally, what would you say to someone who's thinking about joining S and P? I would say definitely give, give it a shot. It's uh, it's great fun, you know, you'll work really hard, you meet mm -hmm. loads of good people and you will get results because you can't, you can't not, you know, mm -hmm. it's just actively, it will happen. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank yeah. you very much, right. Mark. Pleasure. Thanks, Katie. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so you, you can see here how Mark has gone from winging it to loving it at s &P. And if anything you've watched right now or heard on this video has really struck a chord with you, then what I'd urge you to do right now is go and find the application link, which you'll find somewhere on this page, click on it, fill out the details, and we'll be back in touch with you ASAP to discuss how we can move you from where you are currently to exactly and specifically where you'd like to be. So watch the video right now and get in touch. This is Z from S&P Gym down in Stockport saying take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.